Hi, what's up guys and welcome to my video. This video is all about SteamOS. It's something that you've probably heard of and something you've probably heard is going to be quite important. And this video is going to explain to you what it is and why it's important and why you need to know about it. So let's start with what SteamOS actually is. Now SteamOS is an operating system, that's what the OS stands for. And an operating system, if you don't know, is the stuff that essentially just controls the hardware inside the computer and it's the, like, the stuff behind the scenes that controls all the stuff that happens on your computer. So what's special about it? Well firstly it's free, literally free of charge, no license keys required. It's not something you're going to have to think about when building a PC. It's not an extra cost you have to add on, literally you've just got the hardware cost and then if you put Steam OS on then it's completely free for you to use, completely free for you to do with whatever you want. It's open source technology and there's no problem, you can do whatever you want with it. But other than being free, what it essentially is, it is an operating system that is just designed around gaming. More specifically, it's an operating system designed around gaming on a TV. So probably going to be in your living room, but if you have another sort of room in your house that isn't near a desk and not and a mouse and keyboard, then you're going to want to put Steam OS on it. At least that's the theory behind it. Now the thing to note is that it's running on Linux. And because it's running on Linux, you can't run any games that are Windows only or even Mac only for that instance. Both Linux and Mac are actually versions of Unix, which if you don't know, that's the sort of coding behind it. But essentially, if it runs on Mac, then it should be very easy to get it to run on Linux. The same cannot be said for Windows and getting that to run on Linux. That's requ going to require some extra cost and extra time for the development team, which is why at the moment there aren't really many Linux games out there. But in the future, hopefully all games will be available on all platforms but that is a long way off. There's definitely going to be quite a long time before Windows gaming is actually a thing of the past. So what are the advantages then? Well firstly, obviously it's free and it's open source, so you can get hold of it really easily. But the main thing is that they're going for the whole easy to use in front of your TV, quick to turn on, everything that a games console is. It's essentially turning the PC into a games console. What are the advantages to this? Well, you don't have to pay stupid license fees. Whenever you buy an Xbox game or you buy a PlayStation game, a lot of that money goes to PlayStation. Um, it's famously known that the PS3 used to make a lot of loss on every console sold, and that money was then recuperated by all the software you bought for it. With the PC, it's probably going to be a bit more expensive to buy in the first place, but then you're not paying stupid license fees, so it'll be cheaper in the long run. And of course, you've got all those PC-exclusive titles, well, at least you will do, because SteamOS is Linux, which doesn't really have many exclusive titles at all. But then the main focus is the advantages of having it in your living room. Obviously it's a PC, but you're not going to be doing any PC stuff, you're only going to be doing gaming. So the main thing is that it's going to be good for PC gaming, so it's optimised for controllers, the whole operating system turns on, comes straight into this sort of overlay. This isn't SteamOS, this is just Steam Big Picture, and most of you can try out Steam Big Picture, because if you have Steam, just press the Big Picture button. It's essentially just Big Picture mode without Windows running behind it. So the main focus is that it's good PC gaming in the living room. Now there are many disadvantages of course as well. The main one that I've touched many times on is the fact that there aren't any games. It's a gaming platform without many games. If you already have a Linux machine then you'll be able to see that there just aren't many titles to play. But of course they've announced this, it's very early days, it's not even properly released yet. So hopefully more and more titles will be released on the Linux platform um, that will work with Steam OS. Uh, Steam have got some partners that they're working with at the moment, so hopefully um, even if you don't have Steam OS it will improve your Linux gaming anyway. And of course assuming that all games that were available on Windows are available on Linux, at the moment it is a Steam OS. There's no origin there. And as much as it annoys people that you can't get games like Battlefield through Steam, you can't get the games like Battlefield through Steam. So you've got this fantastic gaming PC in your living room, but the Xbox and PlayStation 4 gamer can play Battlefield 4, but at the moment you wouldn't be able to. But I'm sure this will change throughout time, and even if you won't be able to get games um, like Battlefield through Steam, hopefully there'll be some way of doing it on SteamOS, because that may well be a big market one day, and obviously EA aren't going to let that slide. And of course one of the main advantages of SteamOS is also one of its biggest disadvantages as well. Although in theory the platform will be incredibly well optimised for gaming, it's incredibly well optimised for gaming. So if you want to do anything else with it, you can't really. Um, although it will be Linux and I'm sure there will be a proper separate 
operating system as well, it's not really going to become a PC replacement anymore. One of the big advantages of having a PC is that you can do all sorts of stuff on it. If you want to suddenly start, I don't know, coding, and you can start coding. If you want to start doing some photo editing, you can start doing some photo editing. Even if you just want to use it as a Facebook machine, you can do that. And as soon as you turn that into a games console, which essentially it will become, obviously it will be upgradable, you're losing some of that core functionality as well. So that is essentially SteamOS. It is essentially a platform that is going to be great for gaming on, not much else, and it's not really a great gaming platform at the moment just because it isn't really out and there isn't much support for the stuff at the moment. But I am quite optimistic about it. Even if you're not that interested in having a Steam box or your own branded Steam box in the living room, it's going to mean that eventually one day you may be able to do all your gaming on a platform that isn't Windows. So even if that wasn't SteamOS, which one day there might be a proper desktop version for it as well, you can just use Ubuntu, which of course is Linux and it's free as well, and it's proper operating system that feels very similar to a Mac. I wonder why, because they're both built on Unix. So hopefully if you want to have a gaming machine, you might be able to do that without splashing out for Windows, and maybe you just don't like Windows, and you'll be able to use Ubuntu as a proper gaming platform. And another advantage that people don't really think about at the moment is that, say it does become really popular, say it becomes the next Xbox and the next Sony PlayStation platform, it's going to mean that you are going to get EA titles on Steam again, because if there's a mass market that EA don't have access to, they're going to want to get access to it. So that might be something that all of us can benefit from in the future, but obviously we'll have to wait and see. So that is SteamOS. If you're interested in having a gaming room PC, this is probably the platform for you. But of course, if you have a proper PC upstairs, you're not going to want to build one, or it could be downstairs, you know, a study PC, then you're not going to want to build another one. And hopefully Nvidia are doing this um, game streaming that you'll be able to use either Nvidia Shield or any other laptop in the house to stream it from wherever you are to downstairs. And that's the controller and the audio and the picture, so not just like a wireless HDMI system. So I think that's going to be a lot more interest to me, and I certainly wouldn't be interested in building a Steam machine. But I'm in the minority there. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Am I in the minority there? What do you think? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button if you like this video. And of course, don't be afraid to click the dislike button if you've disliked it, and please leave a comment so I can improve in future videos. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, for more videos like this. There's plenty more to come. And until then, I will see you next time.